Train the muscles, not the joints. So I just had a guy email me and ask me why his bench press wasn't going up. So he was training three days a week. He said he's limited for time. He can only train three days a week and he's working out and he's limited for time when he is working out. So he's shortening the rest in between sets. So basically he's only resting 30 seconds to a minute between sets and then wondering why his strength is not going up. Rest plays a factor in how you gain strength or what happens in your set. The need for rest in order to exert strength and power is obvious in extreme circumstances, of course. <sighs> But when it gets subtle, that's when it gets tricky. Uh, you know, so a lot of people, they're trying to accomplish everything all at once. Trying to be an endurance athlete, a power athlete, a gymnast, and a great dancer, and a good at taking naps, and, and whatever else all at the same time, right? When you design your set, you wanna say, okay, what is this set about? What am I trying to accomplish with this set? Especially when you have a goal such as gaining strength primarily. If you're resting too fast, what's happening is you're making your energetic system the weak link in the set. So I talked about this, whatever is your weakest link will be what your body adapts to or what it changes, okay? So if you're saying that my energy flow is the weak link, then your body will increase the amount of energy flow, but that isn't necessarily strength, that's more endurance. Okay, so maybe there's more carb storage. Maybe your body's better at getting rid of some of the lactic acid. Maybe your body is just not as out of breath when you're doing the sets, but that is a different type of stimulus than strength. So when you want to work strength and power, you want to make sure that you're fresh every time you approach that rack. <laughs> approach the rack, rack. He said rack or every time you approach that exercise, you wanna make sure you have all the energy systems in place so that they are not the weak link in the set. Then, when you hit the heavy weight, now it's a matter of how much the muscle fibers can really contract, okay? And that is really strength and power. Again. And power plays a factor in the way of how you contract those fibers. How efficient is your nervous system in contracting those muscle fibers? And this cannot happen very well if you are already tired or exhausted. When you're exhausted, you cannot actually contract the muscle fibers properly. This is why it's important for you to rest. Really? Come on. <laughs> This is why it's important for you to rest up to a minute and a half to, to five minutes. I know some guys that have rested five minutes to make sure their nervous system is totally on board to electrically fire those muscle fibers as hard as possible. When you're in a strength phase or a power phase, it is normal to rest longer in between sets. It's not necessarily a bodybuilding uh, exercise at that point. You're trying to basically build the efficiency, build the groove, and build the nervous system to be able to fire the muscles as efficiently as possible. And then by doing so, you actually fire the fast twitch muscles as well. So you do gain some muscle size from that. But that is a different training technique. And the thing is, is that you also have to make sure that your body is capable of withstanding the force. Me, I cannot train that way and I never could that much because when I train too much power, what happened is that I just broke apart. You know, it was like a race car going into the boards, you know, like at hundred miles an hour, just boom, you know, pieces flying everywhere. The fact is, is that training with heavy weight will put more stress on the ligaments, the tendons and the fibers. So there is more of a potential for injury when you're using heavier weights. That's why you have to really pay attention to your body and say, okay, is this okay for me to do today or not? Do, does my body feel right in doing this? Does, does everything feel not tweaked, you know, or not pulled or sore in the wrong places? So I hope you get something out of this video. It's, it's really important for you to understand how rest in between sets will affect the outcome of your workout. Thanks for watching and make sure you share my stuff if you like it and uh, take care for now.